Okay guys, it's now time for another 2016 edition of VHS collection. And now we're going to do the Disney titles. As you can see, I have a lot of them, so this is going to take more than maybe two parts to do, so um let's get this going. Let's not waste any time and get this started. First one, I'm going to do the clamshells first. This is the 1998 VHS of Airbud Golden Receiver. Sequel to the original Air Bud movie, which I don't have that, but I'll try to find that soon. You and your kids will love this movie, says the Kansas City Sun. Here's the spine. In the back, a fun movie with a real bite, says Gene Wolfe's Hollywood. This stars Kevin Zegers, Gregory Harrison, Cynthia Stevenson, Nora Dunn, Perry and Zilotti, and Robert Costanzo. Rated G, and it's 90 minutes. Here's the tape the ink label, and it was printed on November 19th, 1998. And the first Air Bud movie uh, deals with basketball, this one deals with football. And this is a pretty good movie. Nah, just put it down there. Next is Aladdin and the King of Thieves starring Robin Williams. This is a 1996 film, and it's the last film in the Aladdin trilogies, which I don't have the, the other two Aladdin movies yet, but I'll try to find those soon. Here's the spine in the back. <clears throat> See no film critique on here. Not rated, and it's 80 minutes. And there's the ink label. Printed on July 23rd, 1996. This is a pretty good movie, uh, for, for an Aladdin movie, that is. I have not seen The Return of Jafar, but the first Aladdin movie, Walrus, made a classic. Next is the 1998 VHS of Angels in the End Zone, Christopher Lloyd. This is the uh, sequel to the 1994 Angels in the Outfield, which I'll show that in a minute, but... This is a TV movie that par that aired on The Wonderful World of Disney on ABC back in the late 90s. In the early 2000s, uh, they canceled it. Lighthearted Fun, says New York Daily News. Stars Paul Dooley, Matthew Lawrence, David Gallagher, Jack Coleman, Lin Linda Boyd, Alan Zinnick, and Christopher Lloyd as Al. Reprising his role as Al the Angel from the first movie. Not rated, and it's 87 minutes. Ink label. Printed on October 28th, 1998. And this film was just okay. It's not as good as Angels in the Outfield, but... Still has some good parts in there. And speaking of Angels in the Outfield, here it is. This is a 1994 film, but a 1995 VHS. Stars Danny Glover, Tony Danza, and Christopher Lloyd. A flat-out wonderful movie, says Gene Shalit of the Today Show. Here's the spine. In the back, funny and irresistible, a dream of a hit, says the movie Minute. And this also stars Brenda Fricker and Ben Johnson. Also stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Taylor Negron. The late Taylor Negron. Rated PG and it's 103 minutes. Here's the tape with the ink label. And it was printed on February 21st, 1995. This is a childhood favorite. I remember watching this a lot when I was a kid. Because I was really into baseball at the time. But nowadays I just think it's okay. Next is the 1996 VHS of the Aristocats, which is a 1970 animated uh, classic Disney film. Bursting at the seams with rib tickling fun says Entertainment Today. Rated G and it's 79 minutes. Here's the sticker label. It's got a white sticker label on here. Printed on March 27th, 1996. Yep. 
pretty good movie. <clears throat> Next up is the 1996 VHS of The Big Green. 1995 uh, Disney comedy from the creators of Angels in the Outfield, which I just showed a couple minutes ago. The whole family is going to love The Big Green, says the American Urban Radio Network. This stars Steve Gutenberg, Olivia Diabo, and J.O. Sanders, as well as um, a bunch of child actors that you might recognize in this movie. Rated PG, and it's 100 minutes. There's the ink label. Printed on December 10th, 1995. Printed 12 days before I was born in that year. But yeah, this is a pretty funny movie. Recommend this if you like uh, soccer movies or comedies. Next is the 1999 VHS of A Bug's Life. 1998 Disney Pixar film. There it has Dot on it, who is voiced by Hayden Panettiere. Featuring two sets of hilarious outtakes is seen in theaters. And I don't know who's in this movie. A uh, special bonus, uh, Jerry's Game Academy Award winning short from Pixar, an exclusive sneak peek of Tarzan, which I remember seeing that in uh, theaters when it came out. Rated G and it's 95 minutes. Ink label. Printed on March 10th, 1999. And Bugs Life's pretty good. Pretty good Disney Pixar movie. I don't have Toy Story yet, but I'm going to plan to get that soon. Next is the 1994 VHS of D2 The Mighty Ducks with Emilio Estevez. This is the sequel to the first Mighty Ducks movie from 1992, and I have that, and I'll show it in another part. Twice as many laughs as the original, says Jeffrey Lyons of Sneak Previews. Here's the spine. And the back. D2 rates an A, says 60 Second Preview. And... Rated PG, and it's 107 minutes. Duck Power Triumphs Again says American Movie Classics. Here's the ink label. Printed on July 15th, 1994. Yeah, this is a pretty good sequel to The Mighty Ducks. Just as funny as the original. And next I have the third film. The 1997 VHS of D3, The Mighty Ducks, also stars Emilio Estevez, who's, um, he's not in this as much as he was the other two. Far and away, the best ducks yet, says KNX Radio slash CBS Radio. Packed with action, slapstick, hijinks, and all the glorious stuff of the movie, says The Hollywood Reporter. The quack attack is back, says USA Today. The stars, this also stars Jeffrey Nordling, Heidi Kling, and Joss Acklin. Rated PG, and it's 104 minutes. Ink label. Printed on November 22nd, 1996. But all the content and everything on here is still from 1997. And D3 The Mighty Ducks is not too bad of a sequel. And next is the 2001 VHS of The Emperor's New Groove, which is a 2000 film, THX certified. Here's the spine in the back. The grooviest animated trip since Aladdin, says USA Today. Includes a Sting music video featuring the song My Funny Friend and Me. It's featured on the soundtrack of this movie. Read G, this is 77 minutes. It has the voice talents of... David Spade, John Goodman, Patrick Warburton, Eartha Kitt, and a few others. Ink label. Printed on April 5th, 2001. Yep, and this is a pretty good film. Next is the 1997 VHS of First Kid with Sinbad. This is a 1996 comedy. Disney's best comedy in years says KNX Radio slash CBS Radio. I don't know if that's true, but this is a really, really funny movie. Funny, real funny. The entire family will love First Kids, says American Urban Radio Networks. 
And it stars Robert Guillaume, I don't know how to pronounce that, and Timothy Busfield. Rated PG, and it's 101 minutes. It also stars Brock Pierce from the first two Mighty Ducks movies. He played Gordon bon young Gordon Bombay. Here's the ink label. And it was printed on July 28, 1997. Yep, this is a pretty funny movie. I recommend this. Next is the 1998 VHS of Flubber with the late great Robin Williams. This is the remake of the 1961 film The Absent Minded Professor, which I haven't seen that. Outrageously funny says WBAI Radio New York. 100% pure fun says CNN. Salsa stars Marsha Gay Harden, Christopher McDonald, Raymond J. Berry, Clancy Brown, Ted Levine, and a few others. And Jody Benson voices Weebo in this movie, uh, who voices Ariel on Little Mermaid, rated PG, and it's 94 minutes. Here's the ink label, and it was printed on March 15th, 1998. Which, um... This tape turned 15 years old yesterday. Uh, is that right? No, 18 years old. This tape turned 18 years old yesterday. And Flubber's a pretty funny movie. I recommend it. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys one more tape before we stop for this part. And that is the 1994 VHS of The Fox and the Hound, which is a 1981 classic animated Disney film. And this is the very last title in the Walt Disney Classics uh, collection. Superior, a landmark Disney film, says Joel Siegel of Good Morning America. Rated G, and it's 83 minutes. There's the ink label. Printed on January 3rd, 1994. And there are copies of this tape that have a preview for The Return of Jafar after the sneak trailer for Lion King, and there are some that don't have it. This copy does not have it. But Fox and the Hound... In one of my favorites of animated Disney films. Uh, actually, I'll tell you what. I'll go ahead and show one more tape before we stop for this part. Just one. And that, that is the 1996 VHS of Gordy. The talking pig who made it big. Kids will squeal over Gordy, says Roger with Chicago Sun-Times. This is a 1995 film. Charming. At Charlotte's Web meets Forrest Gump, says the Boston Phoenix. Kind of. Rated G and it's 90 minutes. Overflowing with goodwill and genuine affection, says Seattle Weekly. Now this came out the same year that Babe came out, but uh, between this and Babe, I gotta say that uh, Babe was better than this, but this was still a good movie. Printed on October 14th, 1995. And also, country singer Doug Stone appears in this movie. Uh, my dad's a big fan of him, so. But Gordy is uh, still a good movie, nevertheless. And that's going to do it for part one of my Disney VHS Collection 2016 edition, and I'll be back for part two right after this.